Alrighty, howdy, 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 and welcome to the Red Dirt Aggie Show. I'm Brian, the Red Dirt Aggie, here live with Logan Ryan from uh, Logan Ryan Band. So, uh, what's going on, man? How's it going? Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit? Tell them about yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Logan Ryan, the front man for the Logan Ryan Band. Ryan's my middle name. My last name is Scloss, so we decided to go with Ryan because it's a little bit easier to remember. <laughs> I've been playing music for about 10 years. Released my first single six years ago. Released that song that Parker McCollum likes about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, it's it's a good one, you know. Um, and we're we're happy to have you here. <laughs> but sir, happy to be here. Well, and uh, so what really uh, made you or inspired you to want to become a musician or got you into music in the first place? So my dad was always uh, doing like karaoke and DJing and stuff. Like he ran the karaoke at a bunch of bars and stuff. And I kind of went with him at, at a young age and got into the honky tonk scene. So I was right. like a little eight year old running around the bar, you know, falling asleep on the chairs. <laughs> and I kind of just I liked the music I liked I liked everything about it just stuck with it started right on man guitar, so... right song. here we so you are just, just kind of grew up around that, that scene you know and just fell in love with the music and you're like you know what this is something I want to do and yeah. you went and you did it man and now you're doing it <laughs> that's awesome oh boy <laughs> And uh, what's what's your favorite part, really, of that whole music creation process of creating music? Uh, when I get to hear, like, people's feedback and they say, man, this song helped me through a hard time and stuff like that, that makes me real happy. So just kind of when people can connect to your song and it can... Connect they, to they it. They can relate. And... It get through them, helps them get through stuff. and It's just cool for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's got to be a like a a cool feeling, you know, because you you write that song when maybe you're going through something and it helps you get through it, and then now you're like, dang, like now I'm helping other people with the same thing. Exactly. You're yeah. <laughs> exactly. like someone else out there's feeling the way I do, kind of thing. <laughs> There's a cool thing that happened recently with one of the the first songs I released. He went and got it. Somebody went and got the lyrics tatted on their thigh. Oh, that's nice. pretty crazy. I think it was the first Logan Ryan band tattoo. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're probably like, oh, shoot. Like, you really oh, like that song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's that's, cool. that's got to be a cool feeling, dude. But um, what would you, you say is the hardest part, though, of being a musician? Is it is it creating the music or, you know, trying to get it perfected before you um, – before you have it done on the album or is it performing or something else out there in between that <laughs> the hardest part besides writing the songs I've had periods where I had like writer's block for years like cigarettes and alcohol I had writer's block for like two and a half years three years and then I got out of a long term relationship and I fucking busted that song out <laughs> Sometimes something's got to happen in your in yeah. your life to kind of give you that motivation, huh? <laughs> and you know, sorry. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> but um, but yeah, you know, it's sometimes those those big moments in life are what make some of the best songs, though, right? Those heartfelt ones, that get yeah. that emotion out. And your life's but, mixed up, and your emotions are mixed up. <laughs> It helps you mix up the best music when you're mixed up in those emotions. So. <laughs> sure, for sure. That's what I believe. And uh, who would you say are some of your biggest influences out there right now? Some of your uh, favorite artists out there performing right now? It could be from any genre. Any genre. I really like Tyler Childers. I've always liked him since it started up. Turnpike Troubadours. Randy uh -huh. Rogers has always been a big one. Parker McCollum. Grew up listening to him. Mm -hmm. Just pretty much the red dirt scene in general I've always been... I've always into... I've always liked... 
feel like a lot of good songs come out of it. Well, and it's just, it's such a unique scene. There, there's really nowhere else in the country that has what we have here and on the Red Dirt scene, really. You know what I mean? It's, I love it. <laughs> yes, take it Obviously, over, right? That's why <laughs> I love it, right? Obviously, that's why I got a podcast <laughs> focusing on it here. But yeah, man, um, it's special. Turnpike just put out that new album the other day, too. It's been, I've been listening to that. We had we had Turnpike and Zach Bryan drop on the same day, and all of that other music. Flatland released a song. It was a good day for country and the Red Dirt scene. <laughs> yeah. Do beans belong in chili? I've got to ask. Do beans belong in chili? <laughs> it's a Rich O'Toole question. He came on here and he's you know beans. So we ask everyone. No beans. No beans? No beans. Oh, man. No beans? <laughs> Who are you? A bean? You're a beans in guy? Well, so, so yes, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm contrary to the, the typical Texas opinion, right, of the whole, the whole no beans thing. But my, my chili's got beans in it. I don't know. Rich's chili has beans in it, too. <laughs> Parker said no beans. So, Parker. I don't know. <laughs> it just, um, I'll eat it either way, but it's like <laughs> I've always had them in there. <laughs> I'd probably eat it either way too. But I don't know if I've had it with beans. Yeah, I think it depends on the type of chili because you got that kind that's just like real red with all the meat, and then but there's like the Southwest chili that people mix the beans in with, and it's kind of a unique flavor. <laughs> I like I like beer chili. Beer chili, yeah. Well, that's a good one but um what would you say craziest thing you've seen out there while you, on the road or at a show as a musician has been craziest thing I gotta think about that one <laughs> I really don't travel a lot yet with the music cause I'm still welding mm -hmm. full time but I'm oh, trying okay. to get there yeah I just got back from a run to Wyoming. That was a that was a real good time. Well, yeah. And where are you? Uh, where are you based out of? Where are you weld at? And where you live at? I live in Gonzales, Texas, and I travel for welding. Like I just got done. I was down at the border for about a month over in McAllen, mm -hmm. Brownsville area. Yeah. And now I'm in San Antonio, but home base is Gonzales. It's about an hour southeast of San Antonio. Okay, but yeah, Wyoming is a long way up there, huh? So did you you went up there and you said you played some shows up there. Yeah, I played at the Tom Horn Days. It's a big old pasture ranch rodeo they got. Oh, that's awesome, man! Bought for a while. We got to that's see cool. Randall King the night before in Laramie. That was cool. That's awesome. So, played in Amarillo on the way up there, and Amarillo on the way down. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so you ever, you ever been down to, uh, or up, I don't know my geography, uh, college station. You ever, you ever spend any time in college station? I've been there about twice in my life. <laughs> One time was to go, go to Catalina Hatters. I guess that's Bryan, Texas, but mm -hmm. I might actually play there in September. Oh, Okay. So where, uh, what, a, is it Catalina Hatters you're going to be playing at? Or just somewhere in College Station? Or? At Cadillac Ranch. I think it's like Lake Bryan or something. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, yeah, you ever you ever been over to Hurricane Harry's at all or anything? The dance hall there? College Station? That's I've cool. been to many places in College Station. But we, did, we just asked because, you know, we got a lot of Aggie listeners, but there's a good dance hall up there, man. You should check it out sometime. I want to get, get into that old college station scene. Oh, yeah. No, it's a it's a good live music scene, you know. Uh, a lot of guys came up through there, so it's uh it's special for sure. But you have a favorite song that uh, that you or your band have uh, have written. 
So we just got done cutting this new one. It's called Sign Love Wynonna. Mm-hmm. I think that's actually going to be my next single. And, uh, you got a release date yet? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not working yet. On, the, on the cover <laughs> art. I got my girlfriend working on the cover art. She's making oh, it up did. on her iPad. Oh, I that's awesome. Her, no, not good. <laughs> I know, we need to fix on. this. We need to fix this. Yeah, it's <laughs> no, I feel that I, I design all the thumbnails and everything for like the, the YouTube covers and then the Spotify like cover art for the podcast. So I'm the only one that works on the thing. So I make all the cover art and the TikToks and the, all the yeah. posts and everything. And it it's a lot of time, you know, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it is time consuming, but. It's fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's like it just takes a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I was doing like most of the most of the cover art for the longest time for all the singles and stuff. Mm. And I finally hired out when I released that EP. I yeah. hired out to take some cool. You know, I took some pictures and had them like illustrate. <laughs> so I took a little skin off my back. Yeah, it's just it's it's hard to be the. The creative brain for every single part, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, what what about your favorite live concert that you've ever been to as a fan? It comes down to two of them. There's there's one I got to see Turnpike Troubadours open up for Ryan Bingham at Whitewater. In the oh shoot! That yeah. was an awesome show. <laughs> wow. And yeah, then Bingham and to Turnpike see, together. Yeah, that was. Probably in 2012, I think. Mm. Between that and Charlie Robinson at Green Hall. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a good one for sure. That was a good one. Always. I I haven't. Um, I'm ashamed to say it. I haven't made my way over to Green Hall yet, but I know it's you know it's special. Yeah. Everyone always says though they're like it's special, but when you get there, it's small. <laughs> like, but that Very I'm like, small. yeah, but that's what's. But that's kind of what makes it special, though, because you're, yeah. like, up close, you know. But um, And just the history of that place. I had a one of our early episodes was just all about the history of Green Hall because some weeks we in the beginning we, we were struggling to get guests, so we would just make, like, episodes about, you know, interesting stuff on the Texas music scene. And we have an episode all about Green Hall. If any of our listeners want to go back on the – when we were just on Spotify, it was one of the first episodes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, Green Hall is a unique place, man. That town is pretty cool too, Green. I like those um, small venues like Green Hall and Forest Country Store because you can get up there right next to the speakers and just feel the bass. It's cool. Rather yeah, than like man. an arena or something. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, I used to go see guys like Parker back at Harry's, you know, I saw Parker when he opened at opened at Harry's for Josh Abbott band, you know, in 2015, he was, you know, just starting out and, you know, you pay five or $10 and you can go be right in the front. <laughs> and now yeah. he's, you know, selling out arenas and it's like, dang, <laughs> it's nuts. But yeah, we we're, we we're passing through a Denver when he was playing at Red Rocks. I was like, dang, we ought to go over there. Yeah. And I, I looked at the tickets and they're like 300 bucks a person. It's that whole Ticketmaster thing, like Zach Bryan's whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Ticketmaster. The whole eight Ticketmaster. Yes. That was, that was awesome. Yeah, I think he named that whole album that. <laughs> the <Yeah>. Five album. <laughs> <laughs> it was the All My Homies Hate Ticketmaster Tour. <laughs> to, um, but yeah. That was funny. He actually had like a whole, I saw a whole thing. He had a whole creative system to where people couldn't resell through Ticketmaster on one of his tours because he actually really does hate it. <laughs> yeah. He, like, made but, up something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ticket scalpers. I know, man. It's it's a pain. But what's the coolest venue that you've uh, had the chance to perform at? And uh, what are some venues that you would love to play at someday? Uh, coolest venue is probably Cheatham Street. Oh yeah, down in um, San Marcos. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of history to it. It's always a good mm -hmm. place. Um, venues I want to play at: Green Hall, Flores Country Store, Red Rocks. That'd be cool. Red Rocks, yeah, man. Red Rocks, yeah. I don't really think there's anything like Red Rocks anywhere else. Like, 
It just it yeah. looks pretty special. I've never you One know been the there, but that's played, that's on my bucket list. <laughs> we played one show in New Mexico, in like Cloudcroft, New Mexico, and it was beautiful. You could, you could just see the mountains. Yeah, dude. And the clear blue sky is like a, probably the best view I had on stage, just for a, an air balloon festival or a hot air balloon oh, festival they had over there. That's cool. That cool. <laughs> yeah, that's you know a lot of wide open sky and just space over there to see all that. That's cool. Yeah. That was probably one of the best views I had on stage. Yeah, I would say so, man. Um, what what would you say is your uh, ultimate goal for your career as a musician? Just to make a living off of it. Support my family. I think that's, that's that's really I think right. yeah. I think I think that's got to be you know like it's like if I can do this and not have to you know work a different job <laughs> it's, it's like little... if that can become your main job then it's like it doesn't matter how big you get it's like I'm doing what I love and I'm making enough money to I think yeah, that's the so dream fun. you know it's so much funner <laughs> than <we're... laughs> yeah dude especially when you're on the road touring with all your friends honky-tonking yeah. with all your friends yeah man it's gotta be it's like oh it's it's the same it's the same when you got a podcast i'm like i would love to find a way to make this thing you know take off and yeah. uh it certainly helps getting parker on but you know we got a lot more reviews shot up a little bit but we're we're working on it you know trying to i'm trying in the process of trying to find sponsors now so if anybody wants to sponsor us <laughs> Here's your opportunity. Get in. Get in while we're trending. Get in now. <laughs> get it. Hop on the train now. We already got Parker and Logan Ryan and all these guys. So come on. Hop on because we're going up. <laughs> Katy, Katy Perry next to us. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Come on, Katy Perry. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd y'all get Parker, by the way? Did you, what, do you know how much? Oh, yeah, yeah. We started a whole, a whole like – hashtag get Parker on the podcast campaign and just like me and like a few of my friends would be like hey come on the podcast every day and like tag him it only <laughs> took like three weeks and he was like alright I'll come on and that's the first thing he said he goes well y'all were pretty persistent so I figured I better come on persistence is key apparently but so Whataburger I already got a sign come on guys <laughs> yeah but yeah, man. Um, so, what would you say is your opinion on being categorized as Texas music versus Red Dirt versus country? Do you have like a defined genre that you see yourself in, or are you just kind of doing your own thing? Um, I've always tried to stay in like the traditional country lane with most of my stuff, and then I finally started getting into more rock and country lately right and now I just make songs that I like really and yeah, I guess man. It's just categorize country or Texas music or whatever and that's the thing with the stuff coming out of Texas it's it's kind of now it's kind of like it's just it's Texas music more than it is Texas country red dirt all the different names you got but it's like it's just it's Texas music. It's country music. It's a little country. It's a little rock. It's just it's yeah. unique, you know. Um, and it's as long as the songs mean something to you, it's like that's all that matters. Um, what are some things you consider hobbies or that you're passionate about outside of music? I'll say I got into trading back when COVID hit, like stock trading, day trading. Oh, yeah? Any I'm luck with it? About that. Oh man, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave it a shot. <laughs> I lost uh, a lot of money, but I made a lot of money. But I lost it all. Yeah, it's it's tricky, dude. I'll have like days where I was making where I was like, man, I'm gonna quit welding. <laughs> well, I can just do this, play music, <laughs> be a millionaire in no time, and then I'll lose it all in one day or something. Yeah, it's almost like 
it's almost like gambling with that, you know, like straight up. <laughs> it's just, it's, you never know with the stock market. Yeah. I met a uh, Tristan Juarez does it too, you know. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, I, met, I was opening up for him at that Cloudcroft show in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk and he saw like the trading apps on my phone and he was like, you trade? <laughs> So <laughs> we got to talk to him about that. Yeah, man. It's addicting. I guess I'm a gambling addict. I don't know. <laughs> nah, you're just trying to make some money. <laughs> yeah, just trying to make some money. Just trying to make some money, right? I um, always loved welding, music. I used to race dirt bikes, but I quit doing that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Now I just try to focus laser in on music right now just laser in on that grind well yeah. and like you said you have some new music coming soon correct yes sir just got done cutting seven new songs i'm gonna try to seven do them song. once a month release them once, once a month. month all right so uh i know you don't have like a set date or anything but any, any kind of little any goal for a time window on the release on those that you can share with us probably late november so before the end of the year yeah nice so we so we can expect some new logan ryan band music before the end of the year yes sir <laughs> yes sir excited for that but um, um do you have any announcements that you'd like to tell us about announcements uh anywhere you're gonna be playing soon uh anything you want to share with us like that Yeah, I got a hometown show in Nixon, Texas on September 9th. So, yeah, right. I have a bunch of local artists playing there, and I get to close out the night. Awesome, that's where, man. I, that's where I went to school at was Nixon, Smiley. Okay. They got me there playing this new bar that opened up. And uh, what's the name of the bar? Night. And then Come and Take It, hometown of Gonzalez, too. Mm-hmm. They got a big old come and take it festival oh, in nice. October. I'm probably going to play at the running game bar and grill. But all the all Tejano, right. Tejano bands play outside, be at the bar and grill. <laughs> all right, man. Well, uh, so you're going to be playing some music back in the hometown. So y'all need to come out and see Logan Ryan. <laughs> support. Uh, come support, man. Come support. We're, uh, so we talk a lot of music and we also talk a lot of sports here on the podcast too. Um, you got any, any oh, predictions man. for college football this year? Um, particularly A&M if you do, if not, or just any college football in general. Cool. A&M will win it all. All righty. There we go. You there heard you it go. here. Logan there Ryan says A&M's winning the natty. <laughs> Expert. You can put money on it. Expert Logan Ryan. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> college football expert Logan Ryan uh, predicts Aggies are undefeated this season, all the way to the moon. All the way, all the way <laughs> to the moon. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. We appreciate it having you come on today. Um, is there anything else you want to share with us while you're here? Anything you want to tell us about? Stay tuned for the new songs. They're gonna shake the world, hopefully. Yeah, man. So, uh, like you said, he's got new music coming. Got some shows coming up soon. Stay tuned to Logan Ryan. Stay tuned to his social media, our social media. We'll let you know when that stuff's coming out. Um, and yeah. So, as always, Gigam and God bless. We'll we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Dirt Aggie Show. It's been a Texas Music Tuesday interview with the one and only Logan Ryan from Logan Ryan Band. Yes, sir. Absolutely.